Investigators are gathering evidence tonight in a police ambush in Albert Lee that sent an officer and two others to the hospital. Neighbors say bullets flew through this high rise on South 4th Avenue into neighboring homes. WCCO's Mariel Mo spoke to neighbors who woke up to the gunfire and quickly took shelter to save their lives. Just after 2 o'clock Sunday morning, Albert Lee police say 21 year old Devin Whalen ambushed a group of their police officers who were standing in the parking lot of this apartment complex. They say Whalen was firing from the third floor of the apartment down at the officers, hitting one of them in the chest. This is the bullet hole. Rona Stalder maneuvers around crime scene tape to show us where a stray bullet made its way through her garage and into her living room wall. I was petrified. It was one of several shots that police say Whalen fired from inside this neighboring third floor apartment during a standoff with Albert Lee police. Felt like an explosion and I knew something had hit, but I didn't dare come out with an active shooter still out. Immediately, law enforcement put the neighborhood in lockdown, sending alerts to phones and telling everyone living nearby to take shelter, including Nate Harris. Locked all the doors, of course. Um, and pretty much shut all the blinds I had and just kind of stayed put and let it unfold. Griselda Rentera also took shelter with her two sons and dog. She said crime in the area is getting worse. I've been living here for three years and I've seen way more things are going around. After an eight hour standoff and the help of several local and state agencies, Wayland was taken into custody. In Elbert Lee, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Two other men were also shot by Whalen. They are expected to recover. The police officer who was shot in the chest was treated and released from the hospital early this morning.